Hello and welcome from Studio Mannheim. Israel is flying air raids on Gaza by the minute. Within a few days, hundreds of tons of explosives have been dropped on the Gaza Strip. According to an army officer, within 48 hours, 750 targets were attacked. Reports from the Ministry of Health in Gaza confirm that in only a few days, more than 75 Palestinians have been killed and more than 500 wounded. About two-thirds of these are civilians, and the numbers are rising. Western media favors the huge Israeli military operation because supposedly radical Palestinian groups fired more than 400 missiles towards Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. The targets in Gaza are supposedly missile launching ramps of the Hamas, and supposedly the Hamas are using civilians as shields. There is no proof that the missile attacks from the Hamas have caused any casualties so far. The missiles were destroyed by defense grid missiles before reaching their targets. In Jerusalem, the army confirmed one missile strike. More and more observers are asking themselves if the Israeli bombardment of Gaza at the cost of the civilian population is really justified. We followed up on this question and hear a short summary of the situation from the beginning. On June 12, 2014, three Israeli Talmud students were kidnapped in West Jordanland. Although Palestinian President Abbas condemned the kidnapping and Palestinian security people helped with the search action, the action triggered a larger operation by Israeli soldiers, during which four Palestinians were shot and killed, and around 400 were arrested, most of which are Hamas members. Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, from the start accused the radical Islamic Hamas of kidnapping the three Talmud students. The Hamas, on the other hand, decisively rejected any responsibility for this deed and accused Israel of using the kidnapping as a pretext for destroying the Hamas structures. The Palestinian President Abbas also voiced strong criticism of the proceedings in an interview with the Israeli newspaper Haaretz. I quote, I said the kidnapping is a crime, but does this validate the cold-blooded murder of Palestinian youths? Abbas asked. He stated further that he has no trustworthy information about whether the Hamas are responsible for the disappearance of the three young men. In spite of the Israeli raids and in spite of critic from his own people, Abbas holds his course of working together with Israeli security forces. After the corpses of these three kidnapped Israeli youths were found, the violence escalated. The Israeli Vice Minister of Defense announced a long operation to eradicate the Hamas. Tens of thousands came to the funeral service of the three Talmud students, and hundreds of demonstrators in Jerusalem demanded revenge for the death of these three youths. According to publicized autopsy results, a 17-year-old Palestinian boy was burned alive. Abdallah Franji, governor of Gaza, came to the following conclusion. In my opinion, the Israeli government, and above all Prime Minister Netanyahu, accused the Hamas from the start and immediately following the kidnapping of the three boys, although there is no evidence of this. This is the proof that Netanyahu had already long in advance planned an attack on Gaza because he is against the formation of a Palestinian state and wants to separate Gaza from the West Bank. The Palestinian politician, meanwhile, pleaded for a peaceful coexistence of Palestine with Israel. But during this most recent Israeli operation, according to the organization Journalists Without Borders, increasingly reporters are also exposed to shelling and come under attack by the Israeli army. According to a publication concerning the situation for the media in Palestine, others are arrested randomly and their equipment is destroyed or confiscated. The accusations grow that in this area, like in other trouble spots in the world, reporting cannot be done objectively. Because the offense was never clarified, in many places, the suspicion has been raised that this, in, at all events, was probably a so-called false flag operation. It is generally known and proved that in the past, many different wars all over the world were started with operations under false flag. To summarize, this question arrived as an outcry as here at Kla TV, I quote, is the deplorable murder of three young Israeli men, which has never been investigated, clarified, nor verified, justification enough for the radical proceedings of the Israeli government and army against the Palestinian civilians 
and against journalists. We here at Claw TV present a counter-voice, uncensored and independent, give others a chance to form an opinion as well by spreading the awareness of this channel. Goodbye and until next time.